Well, as it turns out yesterday, we do have some ledge down under where we want to put in the house site, and it is in our way. Uh, when I did my last homestead, I allowed the, the house to be kind of pushed around by the rocks under the ground. I, I didn't want to spend the extra thousand dollars or whatever it was going to be to break through things. And, you know, I, I felt it was a mistake later on because, you know, the last homestead, it wasn't put in the best place from a solar perspective or from like, you know, gravity flowing, you know, water for gray water. And, you know, there were a lot of considerations where I kind of cheaped out. And on this project I don't want to do that I know that I've got time constraints I know that I have money constraints but you know if it's you know an extra day or so of um, you know waiting to, to do it the right way I think it's worth it especially where at this point there is still a lot of other stuff to do uh, the excavator is still working on uh, you know kind of the, the driveway in it was just working on the the well site over here just off to your right uh, and uh, there are still things happening. I, we, we still have to clear the leach field. We have to clear a path between the well and the house. So there, there is a, plenty of stuff to do. And as long as people aren't sitting idle, you know, I don't have any problem waiting and doing it properly. So we're going to uh, rent the rock hammer, which literally costs, it's like $4 a minute to rent this thing. <laughs> it's really expensive. But I want to move the ledge. I want to get it out of the way and I want to put the house where it really belongs uh, to maximize on the solar input that we have the potential of capitalizing on from this site. So I'm not happy about that. It's going to cost me time. It's going to cost me money, but I want to do it properly because a decade from now, and I'm still planning on being alive and being here a decade from now, you know, I don't want to be kicking myself that, you know, I saved 48 hours and maybe, you know, a couple thousand dollars, but, you know, the house is shoved into some weird place where it's just not really working as well as it could. So, lesson learned on the first homestead. I'm not going to make that mistake on the second homestead. Do it right the first time. If it takes a little financial hit to do it, you know, take the financial hit and, you know, you'll, you'll thank yourself later for it. <sighs> not sure what he's doing right now, though. Looks like he's pushing something down. I don't know. Tick tock, tick tock.